In this AlignMix video, you will learn how to import account level data to create account based territories. Now, in this example, we won't be creating geographic territories where you typically have zip codes assigned to territories. This example will show how to import account level data and have those accounts assigned to territories so you can visualize where our account based territories exist. So, to start, let's import our account level data. To do that, you click on File, Import, and import your data. Select the file for import and click on open. And right away, my account level data will appear here on the left hand side. Those are my column labels from my import file. I'm only importing the account level data because we just want to create an account based alignment. The account ID goes to ID, name to name, street, city, and state. Now, street, city, and state will not impact any of the mapping. It's the zip code that's really important. The street, city, and state will only be included in the exports. When it comes to mapping, these accounts will be placed in a random location within each zip code. Now, if you really wanted the true Google Maps location, pinpoint location on the map, you would need the lat and long. But for us, in this case, we're just going to use the zip code. In this case, I also have a segmentation of my accounts. They're A, B, C, D accounts. These accounts are assigned to a territory, and there's also an ID and a name for each one. We can also pull in numeric level data linked to these accounts. Clicking next, we get a summary of what's about to be imported. Click next again and the import goes through and finish. Now right away in the top right, you'll see my account segments. Those are the A, B, C, D accounts that I've just imported. If I zoom in, you'll see those accounts scattered about. And in the center of every account based territory, you'll see the territory ID appear. Now right now, it doesn't make too much sense visually because these account segments are colored in to match the account segment legend here in the top right. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the icons of these accounts to match a territory color. To do that, you click here on the top left where it says Layers, and I'm going to click here on the Accounts button. And just like that, you'll see that all the accounts now match a territory. So these green accounts here, uh, those are part of T301. I can also customize the label of the territory to be matching the territory color. So when I click on that, you'll see now that the green label corresponds to the green accounts. This grayish color is T165. So this is how you would import an account-based alignment and then visualize those account-based territories with the account label. You can also add additional labels the same way you normally would with a geographic-based territory. If I click on Configure Layers, and select territories from the left hand side, click on this green plus button, and I can display total sales by territory as a label. Click on OK. Now you see total sales for every territory. The one difference when we're creating these maps at the account level versus the zip code base level is you don't have that geographic colored in area like you normally would where everything is colored in. This is strictly a account based territory alignment. And there you go, you've just learned how to create a account-based alignment and also visualize those territories on the map. 